I'm Brent Watkinson. Plein air painting is a French term that literally translates to open air. So if you are doing a plein air painting, it means you're actually outside on location. You can be anywhere. You can be in the city. You can be in the country. You can be near the ocean, in the mountains, in a meadow. Doesn't matter where you are. If you're outside on location, that's plein air painting. You can also refer to the actual painting as this is a plein air painting, meaning it was done outside on location. Plein air painting became really popular in the mid-1800s and the late 1800s, especially with the Impressionists in Europe, because painting on location became much easier with the advent of one piece of technology. And that's something we take advantage of and take for granted almost every day as artists and painters today. And that is the disposable, collapsible, squeeze paint tube. Before this invention came along, artists had to mix and mull their own paint. They would actually grind pigments into oil to make their paint. In the uh, middle 1800s in Europe, manufacturers started manufacturing paint and putting them in tubes like this, and it became vastly easier for artists to take their paint on location. Another invention really helped making plein air painting more popular and more convenient. Along with the disposable squeeze tube of paint, there was the invention of something that we today call the French easel or the box easel. Basically, it was just a painting box that along the line somewhere evolved into also having telescoping folding legs attached to the box. So the paint box that you carried your materials to the field also became your easel. You could stand at the easel, you could sit at the easel. Other things that uh, painters typically took with them to the field was a big translucent white canvas umbrella. And we're not talking about an umbrella like this that you would carry to shield yourself from the rain, but an umbrella five or six feet across, maybe two meters across that they would either hold or put on a stand next to them and it would make this wonderful diffused shadow light that they could uh, do their painting, they could see their color palette mixing a lot easier, they could observe uh, the world in front of them while they were painting without having to squint and be blinded by the sun. Also, uh, the painters typically wore neutral Clothing. Uh, imagine if you're out painting your plein air painting and you had a bright red shirt on. Well, that red shirt is going to reflect back onto your painting. Everything's going to have a cast of this red or pink light that's being reflected. So they would also wear layers because they would go out in the morning. Maybe it was kind of chilly. So they would start taking off these layers of clothes so they could remain comfortable, or the reverse might happen. It might start out where they were plenty warm and then as the sun traveled across the sky or maybe the weather changed, if they wanted to continue painting, then they could keep putting layers of clothing on to remain comfortable. So there's a lot to think about with plein air painting, but it's a really rich experience. You're in the environment, you get to smell things and sense things and you feel the temperature, you see the effect of the light. There's a lot of advantages to plein air painting. You should try it. The last bit of technology I want to talk about in terms of plein air painting is something very modern. It's hugely convenient to take a digital camera with you now. It could be your cell phone camera, it could be a digital camera like this small one or anything you have so that when you are through with your plein air painting session, if you don't plan to return there in the next day or two, you can take a photograph to take back with you to the studio and put those finishing touches. Most plein air paintings are called a la prima, which means they're done in one sitting, although Monet would do several sittings on his plein air paintings. He would keep going back to the same place, the same location, trying to get the same atmospheric conditions each time. Hugely convenient now for modern painters to start the painting on location, get as much work as they can get done, really try to get the feel of it, get the color, get the atmospheric 
uh, conditions that they're trying to achieve. And then at the last minute before they leave, take a photograph so you can go back to the studio and put those final touches.